Hi, my name is Jeffrey. Welcome to my channel, Technicolor Films. Um, this video is just a quick video about why I switched over from the Red Mysterium X to the Sony a7 IV, which is recording me now. Your first choice in a camera. I'll go through some quick reasons. The first reason is portability. I can grab it, put it in a backpack, and, you know, maybe take a small lens with it. I can take it to travel and vlog, and, you know, obviously the autofocus, it's tracking me right now. I can leave the frame and it's not tracking anything, and then I come back into frame and it's tracking me. So I really, really enjoy the a7 IV for portability, um, the autofocus system uh, for stuff like this, obviously. And then obviously you can mount different, a lot of different lenses to it with adapters and things like that. So it's really just a, the ease of it and then not having to carry around a 20 pound red, maybe for jobs that don't require that kind of thing. Um, it's just uh, incredible and it's so much easier has so many nice specs that maybe my Mysterium X didn't have because it's outdated. Um, so I really appreciate the specs as well. I like the fact that I'm not a colorist, so I can throw on maybe um, one of the LUTs that Sony makes or uh, one of the ones that DaVinci comes with stock and other great LUTs that I found through other you know uh, users of Sony cameras on YouTube. Um, another reason is the memory. You know, I'm using my old RED. Every video that I shot was 70, 80, gigs you know or or more especially if you're shooting in a lower compression rate or higher compression rate you know closer to six to one three to one five to one stuff like that and then i shot on a red helium the 8k super 35 and that the file sizes for that were ridiculous like it was somewhere around five to seven hundred gigs just for one or two scenes that we did in one day um so having these even with the xavc si I'm getting 30, 40 gigs, maybe even a little more than that, but that's totally manageable and I like that. Um, so that's another reason I chose the camera, just the storage is so much easier to work with. I don't have to buy entire hard drives, SSD hard drives for one scene. Um, but I love the camera, man. It's really, really portable. I took it out to shoot a few things at a little movie premiere, theater premiere we had. Now, another thing I wanted to test is the exposure. Everyone, it's my first Sony camera, so everybody says you should expose to about 1.7 and then bring it down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, so now I'm exposed for about plus 1.7, um, and my light's about 35%, same as last time. Um, so I'm going to see how this looks recovered, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the the uh exposing normally i don't want to overexpose it um maybe that's better i'm gonna see now um i ex overexpose some of the clips and i'm just gonna see which one works better um but i like the way that it looks just on the small monitor exposing it correctly i have to get used to this camera system and get used to the camera and see where i like it but i love the autofocus i love the ease of use i love the portability the audio is easy to deal with and it works better and all the uh, parts as well getting any accessories for the a7 IV is easier than getting accessories for a 12 year old 11 12 year old red mysterium x but when i work with other clients you know that's one thing i'll include in my in my price if you if you want to rent more expensive equipment and do something that's higher quality or a, a bigger budget then we can rent lenses, we can rent cameras, we can do all of that stuff. For now, the Sony a7 IV is really looking like such a great camera. And I'm not a photographer by any means, but the fact that you can take really clean pictures um, is is another plus. You know, maybe I want to take a thumbnail picture. Maybe I want to um, have someone just take a simple picture that they need for their Instagram or something like that. Uh, maybe I don't have to be the best in the world to do that with the Sony a7 IV. So I've had it for maybe a week now and I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. I know I'm late to the party, um, but I'm super happy with it. And, you know, let's see how the exposure thing turns out, at least in this setting. Um, but I really like how it looks without overexposing it. Uh, my name is Jeffrey. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, 
dislike if you don't like the content yell at me in the comment section but thank you for interacting with this channel anyway this is technicolor films